Start recording. Okay, so welcome to the first ever episode of TCG, and I'm just having my stats page pulled up here because it is... Because I just want to say, I just want to show the format I use to keep track of things. Sure, I miss a thing here and there, which is why a lot of these decks down here don't have types. Like, the type of deck isn't specified, but the player is. And that way, if I ever encounter this player again, I could put down their deck type and then also list their deck over here, which is a bunch of data displaying how effective my deck is against each other deck. And so far, the worst deck to go up against is Farm, while the best deck to go up against is technically balanced, but when we consider the amount of games played, it's either Prankster or Builder, with Miner falling behind. But then again, Balanced is a flawless record of two games play of two for two, so, you know. Anyways, let's get into a game, that way I could ex But before we do that, this is what my deck looks like. Um... It's a farm miner with a ultra rare etho put in there as well. And I know that having two ultra rare hermits can be a bit detrimental, especially when I have the fishing rod as my ultra rare card. But this is what I'm running with. Doc is really there just for some extra. These guys are here for extra damage, like while we get the miners and potentially etho ready to go. Uh, Hypno is there specifically to attack AFK Hermits to go AFK once they're low. And then TFC is there for our main damage dealer. While, again, while these guys are meant for, uh, secondary damage, main damage, AFK damage, and then Etho is there just for overall usefulness. We have three Iron Armors for protection. Uh... One milk and one water bucket, each for combating the redstone deck's use of Etho and X, which give poison and fire damage if they land their hits properly. A chest to recover uh, one of our effect cards. Usually it's the fishing rod, that way we can just churn out more items. And then there's the chorus fruit to, oh, to you know, switch between hermits when we're in a bit of need. Uh, composters, you know, generally use foot and steel, same use. Fishing rod, getting more cards. One instant health and one instant health. Two, both for healing. A lead, just in case you need to disable a powerful attack from the opposing hermit. And then TNT for a bit of extra damage. And then it's this ratio of items for our hermits. Anyways, let's get into a game. Okay, we're going up against Nico, who we have faced before, and luckily we get to start with Etho. I love to start with Etho because Etho doesn't require a type, so usually you can get him set up right away. And then we'll start working on Joe, too. I'm gonna cross out there. And Nico is one we have faced before. It's a farm type, so yes, this is. A chance to even out that farm lineup there. And they do have a Joe out in the open immediately with just one item. So yeah. Uh, we might be able to get some decent damage in before he moves. But then again, there goes our attack with Etho. But then again, we still have an attack ready to go. And I'm going to use the times 2 on... Joe, but I'm going to use the single on Etho here. Okay, never mind. Etho is dead, so we're going to go straight to Joe. Okay. I might need to reevaluate my deck to counter farms. Um, okay. So let's just. Oh, we do have time skip available already. So let's get some extra damage in with TNT and miss the attack. Okay. 
when going up against farm types like Joe, we really need RNG to be on our side here. We can get Doc ready right away, and hopefully we have this time skip. Yes, we do. So I'm actually going to use this time, just in case they succeed with their time skip, to switch to Doc. Because if they succeed with their time skip, they could take out Joe instantly. And I don't want to be in a disadvantage match where I'm down one Hermit, where I'm already down to one life before getting down there first. So Doc is probably going to die. Like there's like if they land a time skip, they're going to kill Doc. But giving Doc the armor is the best bet we have and also burning our hand afterwards is also going to benefit us. We're gonna burn our hand again now after we put the cobble item on Azuma. That way we can hopefully get a double Actually, we can't get double pistons because we only have two of them, that's right. So we just need to get more pistons for, um, for, uh, X. And we're not doing that. Okay. Guess we can hope we get a, um, a TFC in the coming rounds. But if we survive here and we're not going to... Okay, I think we risk it with Joe because we can't do anything with X. So yeah, we're going to risk it with Joe. We're going to put the TNT, and that's actually going to get us the win. Thank God. Okay, RNG was on our side there because they weren't able to get any extra Hermits. But that should have been death for us. So yeah, we might want to reconsider doing something there. And now it's down to a 50-50 win rate for them. We're up to our third win in that streak. That's the wrong box, so we'll undo that. And this is where our fifth, this is where our three win streak is. This is up to 52. And that's a total of 69 games. Nice. And that is 52, 52. Divided by 60, 69. Equals 75.3. Okay, I don't count decimals for percentages. But if it does come down to beating out the Cubs record or 2001 Mariners record, I will do that. <laughs> Although beating out the 2022 Dodgers would be nice. Okay, so let's see here, Explorer, yes, um, that was farm, so still same amount of decks, but this time we have one more win than we did before, so now farm win rate is up to 50%, and I think that's everything updated, so let's move on to the next match. Ooh, right away. Jaladin Fox. I don't think we've faced this person before. Yeah, we haven't. So let's get a new one queued up. Jaladin Fox. One game hold. Okay, so we only have X. So we're going to start getting his attacks ready. And luckily we're getting more farm types, that way we can hopefully save these, um, cobble bits for, um, for our miners. Anyways, is this the rare? Yes it is. Perfect. 60 more damage. I'm probably gonna compost these two. And then hold out this for an extra TFC or Etho, you know? Etho coming in clutch could really save us. Okay. Alright, 
right, yeah, let's quickly mulch these two. We got a dog, which is useful, but not as much as I'd like. Go away, YouTube notifications. Okay. There we go. Okay. Good thing we got a fishing rod there, too. That way we can quickly cycle through stuff. Hopefully they don't put away um, their TFC here. That way we can get the kill. Although, if we do get a Hypno coming up, we could also get the kill afterwards. But they don't really have another TFC ready to go, other than the one with the cobble bit there. This is the one that only needs a single bit, which is the one they switched to. Okay. So now we're going to use this, get a, T get a rare TFC, which we are actually... Uh, that will be 80 damage flat at the most, so we're going to get in another attack with X before switching over. Good thing they damaged Doc, because Doc is the Hermit we're not going to be using for quite a bit. That is 20 damage, and if they get their 80 damage attack ready to go, they'll be able to kill us. So we're going to switch TFC for that round. And I was right in assuming that they'd have another cobble ready to go, so we were able to get away from the attack there on an X. And hopefully we'll be able to get a healing potion to make it to where we can bring an X for possibly one more damaging effect later on. And we have nothing to upgrade our hermits right now. Okay, we got Hypno, and there is a giant video. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, um. Let's get Hypno ready to go. And there we go, we got an extra armor piece that we're probably going to put on Hypno and get Hypno ready to take out the other TFC. They're probably going to bring out their big boy TFC here. Or are they going to try to get an attack in with, okay, they're bringing out their big boy TFC. Okay. Getting 50 damage there, that's 30 HP, which is good for us, and we got flint and steel to torch the water buckets afterwards, since we won't be necessarily needing them here. What are they going to do? Are they go? Because if they don't move, they ha they should move something to dock here. No, they're not even going to use it. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, the lead lets you move one of the um, one of your opposing hermit's items to an AFK hermit. So if they moved it to Doc, that still would have unlocked Doc's attack, which is why I think they didn't do it. Anyways, let's get TFC healed up. That way we can get a little bit more damage in with him before taking him out. And we got a chorus fruit too to switch to Hypno and keep TFC alive for one more attack afterwards. And that was 120 to 50, so that's going to be enough damage to take us out. So we are going to get this core fruit ready for deployment. We are going to fail that roll, but we are going to switch to Hypno, ending our turn and getting another cobble to apply to Hypno. <sighs> and they moved one of Hypno's cobbles away. Which is pretty detrimental to us, except for the fact that we have another one ready to go right away. We could torch those real quick. And we could get a Joe on the board. We can use this Hypno to get rid of that TFC first. And then we could get rid of the other TFC next, and then we could fight it out with another Hermit afterwards. Preferably Joe if we can get his attacks ready. But they're probably going to be coming after our low health hermits, except that they won't be able to take out um, whatchamacallit in a single turn. 
And, okay, so that's 70 plus 60, that's 1300. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do here. Oh, damn it, we can't do that this turn, can we? Damn, I wish I could take that back now. Okay, um... Let's see, Hypno's not going to survive an attack, so let's just try to get as much damage on... TFC as we can here. And we didn't get another piston there, so we're not going to be able to unlock Joe's special attack right away. And we can't do anything with Doc right now either. So ultimately, having Hypno off the board will unlock the potential for another Hermit to come forth. Okay, they are switching to Hypno here. And they're probably going to try to take out our Hypno or our um, TFC, one of those two. I feel like it's the route they're going to go for, but since they didn't attack here, I have the opportunity to use my Hypno to take out their other TFC before losing that ability. <laughs> Alright, so now what I am going to do is prevent that Hypno from using their attack. And that um, Etho is already fully charged, so we aren't going to move it to there, but we are instead going to move the Cobble to this TFC. That way, if we get another one, we can always disable their other T. We could always disable their ethos attack later on if we do get a chest to get clean back. If we ever need to, of course. I don't know if I've used the chest this round already. I might have, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, and we're down to two. And luckily, we did get a piston here, so we can get Joe's attack ready to go and that didn't land so good thing we didn't use the TNT there because that would have likely scared them into submission and now we could get Etho out and switch to Etho with the chorus fruit which will give us time to get the TNT ready as well actually 50 plus 60 that's third that is only 11 that's only 111 so we are going to okay I know what I'm gonna do we are going to get their hypno down oh god I only win if they don't have an item that is not good for me. Okay, um... Seventy? Plus sixty, that's a guaranteed kill. We won't even need the TNT if we do that. Having Etho out there might scare him off and putting someone else in charge. Come on, don't pull out it. They're gonna pull out an item here. We've lost. Damn it. Okay. Lost. It was a close fight, though. I feel like I could have done something to win that game. And we got beat by a minor PvP, didn't we? Okay, so... I'm just gonna call that minor etho, actually. 
since Ethos attack is pretty broad. That's a 100% for them, and a losing streak to begin for us, and 18 losses total, with 70 games played, which that adds up to, and 52 divided by 70, I feel like that's still going to be 75, no it's 74, we are down to 74% now. And that is also a minor deck that beat us, so now that is 3-2. And that's a total of 5 decks faced, so now that's down to 60%. Actually, I'm going to call this resource gathering. Resource gathering. In a reference to the LE beat maker remix of resource gathering which is of etho so that's why it's called resource gathering because resource gathering minor type you know you gather resources by mining okay well that's a loss and how are we doing here um 21 minutes. Let's let's go in for another game. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, that's who it was. Let's see here. Let's actually start getting Etho ready for an attack. And burn this hand. Okay, well. Start getting Etho ready. And actually, since we can't attack anyways, let's put Etho in charge. Okay, so Etho is our go is going to be our attacking hermit here, and seventy plus sixty that's thirteen hundred plus a potential twenty. No way they just did that. They landed the attack. Okay, then. We have to put in Hypno now. I'm getting in a heavy Hypno attack before I lose the chance to do so. My god. They just beat out Etho, man. Oh my god. I can't believe that actually happened. Alright, if we heal, we won't be able to switch. So... 
at 60, 80. If we survive the hit, we'll be able to take out Mumbo. Let's do it. And there goes, oh my god, this is not good, this is not a good game. They're getting all the RNG on their side right now. Thank god we finally took out that effing mumbo. Alright, while they're taking their turn, I'm gonna put them in the record book. Alright, okay. Alright. I have to switch to Joe here, man. I can't do anything except switch to Joe if I'm going to survive. Oh god, of course, this song starts playing when I'm with- It's GG's, damn it! Oh, I should've put the armor on me. Oh! There's no way I could've predicted that, though, man. Oh. That was just RNG. That was RNG failing you, man. And that's another loss. And that's a loss on the prankster front. Ten, two, no, ten, three now. And that's eight total ducks we faced. And 10 divided by 13 is 76%. Damn, that's a hard drop. Anyways, I think that's what I'm going to call this episode at half an hour, at roughly half an hour. Uh, so yeah. We won one quick match and then lost two matches. And this is purely an introductory video. Hopefully the next one will be, maybe I'll make a highlight system or something where I just get lots of matches where I just put in the highlights. Anyways, before we go, let's update our own personal record here. 52 divided by 19. No. 52 divided by 71. 52 divided by 7. No, clear. Clear it all. 52 divided by 71. 73%. Perfect. Anyways, with that, it's an episode, so... Hope to see you next time, and maybe this will be the only TCG episode before the next, before the first episode of the first season of the Chronicles win. Hope to see you wherever it ends up coming out. 